Hi, my name's James and I'm a reseller on eBay and I buy from auction houses, car boot sales, Gumtree, Facebook and I sell it online for a profit. Last year on eBay we sold around 1,200 items and this year we decided to try auction houses to try and up our profit margins and so far it seems to be working. This sale blew out our mind. Um, we were expecting £300 around about there and the camera sold for £590 surprisingly and the buyer paid. It's a Fujifilm GA645ZI and these cameras if you find them brand new, not brand new, but if you find them working condition you can get anywhere between £750 and £1000 and this camera has missing its battery cover it's really nice condition and it still managed to fetch just under £600 At the auction house we won 7 lots, many of them are bundles and in total we paid £458 and this camera on its own has paid for the whole lot and this camera came in a, um, a lot it came with 14 cameras and a camcorder and it cost £180 but once they added fees it was £240 it cost for this camera in a bundle so as you can see we've done really well just with this camera as it's paid for the whole auction and we should be well in profit time we sell the rest of the items so now we're going to package the camera and we're going to start by putting it in some bubble wrap And we'll put it in some more bubble wrap just to make sure it's really safe and it doesn't get damaged on the way. See how it fits in the box. It's a really strong box, quite, quite padded at the sides. So I think I'll put a little bit more bubble wrap on it just to give that extra protection. I want to get to the buyer in one piece of space after spending nearly £600 on it. And that should fit in the box quite well. Maybe a little too well. We've got some foam. If you check our dumpster diving video, you'll see where we get a foam from. And I put a layer of foam on the bottom, as you can see. So it's got foam all around the edges now, and it's got foam in the bottom, and we've also got these two bits of foam here, which will just sit on the top and give it added protection. And we've got a wee fan crew note in for the buyer with a voucher code if he decides to use it or not. Mm. Up to him. But that's how we package a 590 item. That 
through nice and strong now. Pass me that tape gun. And now we just put some EB tape on it. We get our phone from a, a skip from a electronic company, so if you have any electronic companies near you, don't be scared to have a look in a skip because it's usually fully bubble wrap, foil bags, foam, and really good packaging supplies. I'll just finish this up by putting a little bit of tape on the sides. That's good to go now. When you're doing your items, don't forget to write on the, what they are because many times we've done it in the past and you've had to open the packaging again to find out what's actually in it. So, camera, should you be watching this one? So now we're going to weigh the item. And it's 1.7, so that should cost 4 pound 40 cents with Hermes, which I now know is every. And this is good to go. It's always a worry when you sell an item at this cost that the buyer hasn't read the description and potentially they could return the item. So what I did is I sent the buyer a message and it read, thank you for your purchase, you have spent a lot of money on this and I want you to make sure before sending the item that you read the condition. I don't want you to get the item and be disappointed or unhappy with it. Can you please confirm you have read the condition, I will post the item tomorrow and then I copied and pasted the description from the listing into the message. It was a bit of a relief when the buyer got back to me. He replied, I understand the item is untested and vintage and I'm actually a bit of a collector of film cameras and understand the risk involved in buying old items such as this. Rest assured I won't be complaining should it not work. It's the risk involved with these things. I hope of course that it does work but if not please don't worry. I know it wouldn't be your fault as a seller look forward to receiving the camera. So it's always a good idea if you're selling an item which has a bit of damage or something that you need to mention to copy and paste it into a message and just get them to say that they've read the message and they've read the condition. So if anything goes wrong with it you've got a little bit of backup when you contact eBay if a problem arises. Just a little update on the delivery. We sent it with Every which is previously known as Hermes. We chose to send it next day delivery and it cost £13 which covers as up to £200. To send it with £600 insurance it was £32 but we picked £200 off of cover. That's the packaging video done for today. We only sold I think it was six or seven items. Every two days we usually post between 15 and 20 but for some reason it just seems to have slowed down but hopefully it picks up and that camera sale gave me a big chunk of money coming in which is great. So if you walk by some Fuji Vinti cameras Turn around and pick them up because they really can go for really good money. And don't forget to do your research, type in the model, make, and you'll be surprised what some of them can fetch. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button and think about subscribing. And if you like packaging videos, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you again. Till next time. Bye.